Hey everybody, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries with some new vintage bag haul and baggings. Add it again. Okay. Christmas tree. Missing the star and some rhinestones. That's a shame because that looks pretty. The older American flag. I think that's missing or just yellowed. Might be missing. That's an older one. No. Silver tone. Um, why can't I think? Yeah, cross. This is plastic. A watch from Caravel. What day of the month or what day of the week is that? I don't know. Big watch. Uh, this is a religious, I guess that's uh, the Pope. Metal. This has got a lot of wear. I'm surprised it's not Monet or something, but no name. A watch. I believe that says... Movado. A lot of fakes out there. I, I wouldn't know what's real and what's fake. It takes a lot of research sometimes. Another religious little pendant. Little footsteps. This is that um, footprint little saying, kind of condensed. Cute. Oh, this is pretty. It's kind of an olive green and um, red, deep red. Older. I guess. Are these supposed to be bent in that direction? I guess. They're all bent in the same directions. Very pretty. Some old buttons, 29 cents. La Chic. La Chic. Ooh, this is pretty. Nice fossil watch with some acrylic. So lightweight. Fossil watches could be expensive. Might have to keep this one. I got my new battery um, replacement kit from Amazon so I can replace some uh, batteries. It comes with tools for, I haven't even really looked at it. Tools for all sorts of things. Battery watch related. This I'm assuming was a stretch bracelet. I don't know because it's just fabric. With some cute hearts. And a little love weights. Cute. Oh, this is pretty. A little pillbox. Rhinestones. Faux pearls. No name. It's got some tape on it. Oh. Stanley? Is that you? Well, yeah, it says a little picture of Stanley enjoying his pipe. Not sure if this, I mean, is it a pill box? I guess a ring wouldn't fit in there, would it? Not sure why you would want to look at Stanley while you're taking your pills, but you know, that's um, 
It's pretty. It's a pretty little box. This looks like a bag of very lightweight rhinestones. It must have been a necklace or something. Super, super light. Some little angel wings. These look delicious. Plastic. They look like delicious gummies. Cool. I love these. I love those. Nice swirly pin. Trafari. That's a nice shape. Some pearls. They do feel like glass. They've got quite a bit of that vertigray. But they're really dirty. A heart, double heart bracelet, necklace. <laughs> Oh, and this is a watch by, what does it say? La Petite, Swiss made, Cristal, Cristu, Chateau, Chateau, something like that. So it it's, seems to be an older watch. Swiss made. I'm sure it was really nice when it was new. New and shiny. Uh, got a lot of watches lately. Cute little ring with a swirl. 18 karat heavy gold electroplated. Cute, cute, nothing wrong with it. A watch from, I believe, is that Solina or Polina? I can't tell. That's cool, the way that goes around the outside like that. I have not seen that. <clears throat> Dust proof. Okay. Big, thick, lucite or acrylic bangle. Those are always cool. Oh. Ooh. I guess it's copper. And this looks like, um, that material I said the other day that I didn't think the other one was. I'll think of it. Yeah, this needs to be cleaned up. I know this is copper, but uh, I'll think of the um, the word I'm looking for for this. Cinnabar. Yeah. Cinnabar. See, it didn't take me too long. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, I like this. Is that hair? Is this for... No. Why is it curved? What is it? Um... My gosh. Does it say... Natty, Natty Creations, and a patent number. Hmm, I love the design of it. Oh. It opens. For what? Why does it have a pin? It looks like, you know, one of those big hair clips. Oh, I've never seen anything like that. 
a big fish. Oh, this is where those other beads go to. Uh huh. Okay. So I don't think it's glass. I think it's that other material. Okay. Now it's all fitting together. Oh, I've seen these before. This is broken. This looks like a copper bracelet. It's heavy. A flower brooch, finally. I haven't been getting too many lately. I used to get them so much. That's a broken necklace. Pretty blue rhinestones. There's no name. Need some cleaning. Very light. It's pretty. I like the design of it. Something stuck on my thumb. What the heck is that? What in the... Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know what that is. Anybody know? They don't fit together. I'm sure if somebody knows, I'll be like, oh, okay. This weird thing. Reminds me of, I don't know what. What does it remind you of? Some kind of eye. Eye of Newt. Here's another ring. This is cool. Is that copper? I don't know what that is. That's neat. I don't know. I get, I'm thinking it's old, but I don't know. It fits me. Interesting, huh? Imagine if it was like super, super old. How exciting. That's cool. A watch with no back. And the name is Pierre Labouche, I'm going to say. Oh, I've seen these before. This has a lot of wear on it. But it has um, tiger's eye and jade and a very low quality opal and coral and what do you call that onyx it's cute though it's got a lot of wear oh neat oh i'm afraid to open this like it's gonna snap and bite me i don't know what that is i don't know what that means half something Ooh. I love the designs on the back of these. That's cool. Very neat. An old keychain. Is this supposed to be perfume? Doesn't want to open. Don't say somebody's ashes because I don't think anybody's going to put them on their keychain. These are very unreliable. Hmm? Oh, one of these Mexico. Um, it's not sterling. It's um, the alpaca. Yeah. Mother of pearl. Abalone. They're, they're pretty. Tie clip. S M, that's my initials. Hmm, a pendant. Napoleon the third. Emperor. Oof, I don't know what that's for. I don't know if there was another coin there. 
that's very weird. Nothing? Oh, some tiger's eyes, tiger eye beads. These are pretty. Just loose beads. Got a nice glow to them. A very old, worn out chain. Yeah. Little earring. This is very yellow. I can't imagine that touching my skin on the back and wearing that. Oh, these cute little Americana old earrings. That's cute. I don't know if I have the other one. But yeah, this is very, very old and just dingy and... I can't imagine wearing that, honestly, but I guess if it was not touching my skin, what's that? Oh, Sterling. M. Kirk Sterling. I guess you can make a um, pendant out of that. Now we have all these beads with little beads on them, and that is the way you close it. Very grimy. Dorothy Nash. Hmm. Or Nash Dorothy. One of these in some Halloween colors. We used to play with these all the time when we were kids and make them. Um, they would come in a little kit and you'd make a candy cane. Of course, it was red and white, but same thing. These are definitely like Halloween colors. Yes. More of these. Little buttons from La Chic. 29 cents. Oh, that one's missing its rhinestone. These earrings popped out. No name. Cute. Those are weird. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Huh. I like the look of it. Oh, here's the other one. I guess you gotta keep adjusting them in case they pop. Cool. They remind me of owl's eyes. Like an owl eyes. I don't know why. Pretty little boat. Nice enamel. They're so beautiful blue. Oh, yep. Cherries. That's cute. Little copper. Some of these can be a good um, good amount of money depending on the maker, but this isn't marked. Glass beads. Huge cabochon for something. Oh, it's actually a big bag of these little things. Like you would use in the bottom of a fish bowl or in a flower. But this isn't. This is bent. These are cool. That's cool. But yeah, that's all that this was. Hmm. I like this though. Oh, no, it's got the rhinestone. It's just a little off color. Ooh. Guess what? Got the other one, but that's really bent. Well, they're kind of soft enough you can 
fix them. Not sure if that metal would want to be in my ear, but I could fix it. You know what I mean? The metal just looks, oh, I don't know. But these are really cool. I like these. I might have to fix them and maybe you could coat them with something and wear them. This is cool. Doubt that's a ring. This, oh, it's still attached. So that's broken. Nice big stone, though. Some faux pearls. Coppery looking. Ring. What is this? Everything smells kind of stale. I don't know what that is. S T S T E Y. Hmm. I have to look that up. Cute 80s earrings. A watch with some danglies from Anne Klein. Does it look like? I guess they're earrings. Pretty elaborate in the back butterfly. We haven't run across a butterfly in a while, huh? Oh, this is cute. It's missing his face. I don't know if there was just some kind of rhinestone in there or something. Cute. That's easily fixable if somebody wanted to fix it. And you have this these interesting, huh? Oh, look at that. Glass beads. That's really cool, colorful. These are glass. These are glass. And kind of a metal and a wood. Interesting beads. I love the glass beads, especially when they have a nice mix of color. Little faux, I think they're faux, yeah. Faux freshwater pearls. Oh, right along. Ooh, look at this. Talk about pink. Patent number. So, is that for a man or a woman? I'm just saying, back when it was originally made, what was the intention? Nowadays, yes, of course. Or even then. Anybody could wear it at any time. Whatever they felt. But what was the intention back then? That's my curiosity. I'm also curious to see if they have another one. I'll be disappointed. Oh, no, we do. Woo! Mega big rhinestones there. I'd wear them. Definitely. I don't have meant too many shirts with a button at the bottom of the sleeve, but I think I would buy one just to wear it. These are big. Are they a specific type or something, or? Hmm. Just some big, look like Roman shields. Roman shield big. A heart. This looks like you can put a scarf through it, or 
right? Is that what that is? It's not a belt buckle. Here's something similar to the last necklace. These kind of beads. $50 or 50 cents? I'm not sure. I think that's... Is that bone? Eesh. Looks like vertebrae, like a, a spine or something. Oh, it's not my favorite. It's pretty. Nice thick bracelet. I'm sure that looks good on. Not sure it would fit me, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, it fits. I feel like it's too close up. Not bad. I can't tell in this light if it's got wear. I'm sure it's got a little bit. Oh. Some more wood with some colors. I'm not sure if that's wood. I'm not sure what that is. It's got a big potato with some stretch marks. That seems like it's a nut or something. Huh. Ow. That's heavy. <laughs> no, it's not a rock. It's definitely some kind of nut or something. Hmm. Not sure. I could say that with confidence. No idea. Okay. These are some nice minty color. Cool. Very cool. Good color. This definitely seems like a bell buckle. Does it say something? No. But the material is like a very lightweight wood. It's got all the rhinestones, so it's pretty awesome. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, put like a scarf or something through there and wear it on your wrist. Or a scarf around your neck, wear it like that. Pretty impressive. Here's another kind of belt buckle. Must have had the hinge here. Groovy. This I'm going to go with wood, and it has something in here that would be easily um, fixable, and you could put something cool there. I don't think a rhinestone would be a good. I think maybe a natural stone would be pretty. This is, oh, it's hollow. Hello. And very lightweight. Hmm, haven't seen anything like that before. But it's pretty. This is odd, I have to say. It's almost like a clamshell. It's missing whatever rhinestones these were, and it's just a bunch of beads packed in there with some kind of... Oh, these were pearls on here. It does remind me of something clammy. I don't know why. I guess you could dig that stuff out and replace it with something else. I don't know. It's, it's a little odd. But I like odd. Odd is interesting. It's just a piece there. And angle. I think these beads, um, these pearls are glass. They've got some weight to it. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're pretty. 
They have a nice luster, but I'm not going to put them on my teeth right now. Um, but I will check them. They're pretty. For faux, they are very pretty. I don't see anything scraping off of it. They have a nice luster. Where's that? Uh oh, okay. I thought it was a loose rhinestone, but it's actually in a necklace. That's probably pretty on. Just a little rhinestone. That's cute. Let's see if it's gold filled. Nope. I don't see any indication. It might say Hong Kong on here or something. Oh, I thought I could read that. Oh, Korea. Okay, that makes sense. Somebody said some of the Korean stuff is really gold and it's not marked. I didn't know about that. That's something to look into. Um, this looks like a woman, the hair, her hand up here. Interesting. Gins. I don't know what that says. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Accessor Craft, New York City, 76. Access Accessor Craft. Yes, I've had that before. But I don't know the significance of this person. I'll have to look that up. Interesting. Oh, let's see. We have time for one more. One more. It's so hard to choose. I just don't know. You know, I always hope it's going to be good. a tie clip. Now I've seen this before, not this boat specifically, but where it looks like somebody painted the background. Is that true or is that just the way they come? I can't tell. That's pretty. Two roses. It's lightweight. Cute. Classic. Oh, this is heavy. Coro. That's cool. I've never seen this one before. It's very heavy. The flower and also the arrow is very heavy. That's pretty. Ooh. Haven't seen that one. USN. So I guess that's the United States Navy. Cool. Oh, okay, come on. Another pretty watch pendant. This one has a really pretty design and it's from, oh, I think we just had this, the Chateau, I believe I'm saying it, right? That's very pretty. This is, oh my gosh, it's an earring. I thought it was a keychain. It's got an oyster and a fish and some little glass beads. Interesting. Little angel, cherub. Oh, this. Oh, here's the other earring. Cool. I don't remember the name of this stone. It really looks like a piece of, big piece of gum. But I know there's a name for it. 
This is one of those really lightweight ones that sometimes they're from Germany. Didn't I see something? Yep, Germany. Cool, I gotta figure out the name of that. Here is some pretty stones. Almost looks like sea glass. Number one. Attached to a ring that's really beat up. This is like a seafoam green almost. I like the design. Missing some of the pearls, but I like this design. Let's see if it's got a name. Nope. Cool design though. Here's some earrings. Enamel metal. Don't see any name on it. Some mother of pearl chips. This is, I think, a Pennsylvania Dutch, as they call it. Pretty. I have a few of those. Sweater clips. Kind of look like Madonna's outfit, right? Little pin. I guess it's like kind of like the paste, as they call it. Little bracelet with that woven. Some rose quartz, I think. These big drop earrings. I don't know if they could be cleaned up. Just a little, I don't know if that's adjustable, nope, with some kind of black material in there. An apple, it has all its stones, I think, but it's just very old. Some of them are yellow. Oh, well. Looks like a Monet bracelet. Could be. Oh, Barclay. Barclay, okay. I like that. I like the design of it. These are cool. They're plastic, but they're cool. Almost like the um, bamboo style. And that old color. Yeah. I remember these. This, this type. And this color was very popular at one point. A little swirl and a drop on one of these cords. Very short. Oh, it's the old Coro. Oh, that's surprising. That's kind of neat. I wonder if it'll clean up good. Oh, a nice fat chain. Look at that. Chunky chain. Oh. It has that symbol. Is that the old, um, or is it the newer? Trafari or something? Really nice and thick and chunky. Oh, that's pretty. What's that? Is that coral? Yeah. That's an old coral, too. It's two nice coral pieces in here. I like that. I like both of them. I think I have a necklace like this. 
These are cool. Not marked, but cool. Kind of abstract, kind of like a mobile. Not sure if I have the other one. I'll have to double check. Well, I'll put this one to the side and then we'll see. Here's a ring. Cute little ring. Let's see what it says. I'd like to see what it says. Probably. Yeah, gold electroplated. It's all bent up. Sister friend. Oh, this was also a um, sweater clip. Love that chain. The other part's missing, though. No earring. A little cuff with some stuff on it. Let me see. Oh, Mexico. Little Mexico bracelet. Oh my goodness, I think it has all its pearls. Not bad. This is missing a rhinestone in the middle. And these are... Bellini. Matches my nails. Bellini. I don't think I've had Bellini, but it is missing a rhinestone. That could be replaced. Not sure if it's going to match the one, but you could try. This is a super long necklace with these stations. I don't know if it's worn or just very dirty. Oh, I have one of these with the bow. So cute. These are plastic. Cute. Another kind of thick chain. What is that? I don't think that belongs. Or maybe it's like somebody twisted this on here or something. That's weird. They put it on here like this. I don't know. Maybe it's gold or something, so they wanted to Keep it on there. Who knows? Oof, that's in bad shape. Little cute pendant. I think this is a silver chain. Yes, sterling. That's got a lot of stuff going on. This might be sterling. Yeah, full pearls. Many of these little full pearls. Almost like a child size, but, you know, they used to make them much smaller back then. Yeah, if I, this is probably sterling too. If I don't keep the pearls, I would definitely take off the, um, the sterling clasp. Definitely. One of these bracelet uh, necklaces. That one's not in that good of shape. This is a nice chain. Well, let me take it back. It is pretty good. Pretty good chain. This is a cool chain. I don't know what it belongs to, but it's pretty cool. I like that. 
almost like a, a watch fob type chain. Nice. I don't know what I'd do with it. A little butterfly bracelet. Looks like Avon. A number one. Another little necklace. I don't like that type of a necklace. It's just, can't wear a pendant on. It gets all tangled. This is a chain without a clasp. I don't know. Feels like I was gonna say it feels like gold, but I don't think it is. And this little chain. Last but not least. That should do it. It's 46 minutes. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate everything. And I found some nice stuff I really do like. Um, I'm gonna sort this out now. And thanks for liking and subscribing and all the helpful information and I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.